What's going on, people? This is vlog 703. Today, I'm driving something unique. Can you tell? It's different than the truck. It's different than the classics. It's brand spanking new. This is the 2017 Genesis G80. $60,000 of freaking awesomeness. Now, I've driven this car before, actually several times, and this is the latest model. If you wanna see this thing up close, you can do two things. You can wave me down as I'm driving by, or you can hit the LA Auto Show, which is where this car is going next. Now, big thanks to the boys and girls of Genesis for sending me this incredible machine. And I was thinking, where could I drive this thing first off to kinda give it a test run? Lo and behold, Kathy comes up to me and says, hey, I need some fabric for this current project. And right now she's working on the Christmas mascot for the Ellen Show. I can't tell you what that is. I'm gonna be headed into downtown LA. It's a beautiful day. The ocean is incredibly blue and I'm driving this Spank Daddy machine. What a way to start the vlog. out at Silver Star Mercedes-Benz once again. There was a day when I really knew what I was gonna be driving, like what I'm driving now, but I'm meeting up with my buddy Sean Tidlawi over at Silver Star. He says he's got a couple of really amazing cars that just came in. We're talking serious, big number cars. First thing I thought to do was take you guys along for the ride. Let's go check out some Benzes, baby.
for my buddy Sean. He's wrangling a very cool Mercedes we're gonna be taking, not this one. This one's a little over the top. Mercedes-Benz and Thousand Oaks. Very cool dealership. It's a little quiet right now. Not for long. I sense something green coming. Two green things. One green thing that we're about to drive and another one that we might be taking for a little spin a little bit later. Right there. Foam, I smell something green. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> What's up, baby? What's up? Sean, the car goes backwards extremely well. Look at my face. I have a logo right across my face. That's visual effects right there. That is visual effects. I'm pretty sure that this is Mercedes' answer to an Irish vehicle. <laughs> yes. You know, if, if Ireland were to make a car, uh, it would be something like this. Ladies and gentlemen, Sean Tedlawi from Silver Star Mercedes-Benz of Thousand Oaks. How y'all doing? <laughs> uh, we are driving something very large and very green today, but uh, kind of unexpected. I, I thought, you know, when it comes to SUVs, uh, they're kind of uh, functional cars, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And you, you can put a lot of stuff in the back, including, you know, kids that you don't really want, or your mother-in-law, which you can put in the trunk, mm -hmm. you know? But this car has a little more horsepower than I thought. Serious, you guys are about to see that. I hate to say this, but I think I left my stomach there um, on the on ramp. This thing hauls ass, that's that is a fact. Um, but it's wrapped in green, it's got this huge AMG logo on the side. Why, why is that? For sure, for, for uh, a presence. For... I mean, that's like... There's no reason. It just it doesn't matter. It's just something to the do. The real reason is because you can. Because you can. That's right. And it's kind of got a frozen green wrap on it. Uh, and, but the GTR is actual color. Is this color? Yeah. Yeah. It's a... Uh, green Hell Magno. Green Hell Magno. Like I said, someone in a little cubicle is making up these names somewhere. Uh, what's that fire that becomes green? What do you put in fire to make the flame green? Uh, your hair? No. Does it really? No. no. <laughs> it, it's like it increases the heat and the intensity of it. Okay. I gotta look that up. I believe it. Benzes that you guys pile through, uh, since you are the number one dealership on the planet for pretty much anything. You know, I just made that up, but it might as well be true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how many, how many of the SUVs do you sell compared to the other cars? I'd say probably thirty or forty percent are SUVs. Okay. 
and how many of the Maybox, that blue one, because I'm gonna take that one today. Okay. It's one of 300. So we they go to one every... They only make 300. Often. Yeah. Uh, and that car has a $335,000 price tag. 337. 337. Yeah. Well, those, those extra two for me, three. I'm getting it 330. I'm going to negotiate that down for sure because I'm going to spend that $2,000 on gas the first day. That'd be good. letters all the time for the names of cars. You should have an answer for that, right? What does GL stand for? I don't know. Great. Uh, lovable. Lovable. <laughs> I know E is elegance. E is elegance, that stands for. But why don't they just call it elegance? Like Maybach is Maybach, but then it does have some numbers and letters to it also. Yeah. Because right? yeah. back in the day, you know, in the 50s, they, that was the name of the car. That was it. You know, it was it was a a T bird. It was something. You know, yeah, the, like yeah. the '63 is an engine designation. Ah, okay. Is it good? Wow, that's awesome. Nice. I am now behind the wheel of this uh, Mercedes with a bunch of letters. I can't remember all the letters. <laughs> G GL, um, what's the horsepower on this? 577. Uh, five, almost 600 horse in a in an SUV. That that's um that's right enough to, uh, to. You know, after driving this thing just for a few minutes, the the one thing you notice is it it does not feel anything like an SUV. It feels like you're in a sports car. Just kind of a sports car that has a decent view. Yeah. You know, you're not scraping your butt along the ground. It's it's a, an SUV coupe? Correct. Or is it considered a coupe and not an SUV? No, it is an SUV coupe. Okay. It has, the roof line in the back does not break down, it slopes down. And that makes it a coupe? Correct. Uh, you gotta get your terminology right because- uh, It's important. You know, you can't pull into a car show with this thing and not know what you're talking about. No, that's right. You know, especially with this green wrap on it. Big thanks to, what is it? Wrap Labs Company. Wrap Labs, uh, they wrap this car for these guys. And you guys you use those guys frequently for uh, stuff like this? Yeah. Okay, you've done a great job, guys. Wrap Labs, there's your website right there. Good job, guys. Of the 30% of the vehicular contraptions that are, go out the door from Silver Star, the, uh, the SUV coupe being that, uh, how many, uh, like, women buy compared to men? in this car. Is it mostly women? Not necessarily, no. Yeah. No, I'd say probably a 50-50 chance. Yeah. So when a, when a, a mom comes in to buy one of these things mm -hmm. uh, and she, you put her in a car that's nearly 600 horsepower, does she get excited? Oh yeah. That's something we want to see. Yeah. Now, the car, the, the steering wheel keeps clicking on me. Is that because I'm, I'm going out of the lane or something? That's correct. Yeah. Now leave it to me to be driving on the wrong side of the road here. Are you British? <laughs> My British? No. Uh, I was just saying that the the steering is significantly different than most cars I've driven. That's true. And and it's the combination of the tactility of the steering wheel, the size and shape, but also just the responsiveness. It's it's very precise. Very precise. Yeah. But you gotta remember, this car was born on the track, and it's allowed to be on the streets. <laughs> Man, that's a tagline. You got to put that in a, in a oh, commercial, yeah, man. Copyright that. Yeah, that's that's really good. Did you just make that up? I did. It's awesome. <laughs> Okay, 
great fun with my uh, my buddy Sean and the uh, at Silver Star Mercedes. Always a great group of guys and just uh, incredible cards. Impossible to appreciate what goes into the development of a car like that. It, they are truly technological marvels. In just a few weeks, I'm going to take you guys to the LA Auto Show and we're going to go in depth into a lot of the new cars that are coming. And we might even hang out with some of the guys from Mercedes-Benz. But as always, you guys are my guest on Press Days.